Got a little fly-in afterglow. The students said that, and they're having a ball. <laughs> well, the big crowd moved out. The fly-in has ended, but there are some people that refuse to leave. <laughs> God bless them, man. Look at them go. We got one guy, another one setting up over there. Let's see if I can... Oh, yeah, there he is. They're coming out of the word work. It figures the flying gets gets finished, and then we get some even better weather. And they are just having some nice, cool night out here at the Fly Junkies Carver's Field. And man, I'll tell you what, these guys are on it. They're having a great time up there. They've got the whole sky to themselves. And here comes Enzo taking his. Uh, He's really getting his taxiing underway. Good job, Enzo. Take it, man. He's a new he's a new pilot, but he's coming along fast and he's he's doing great. Nice job. Next time take the path of least resistance. Don't make a tight corner when you go out of there. Looking good though, looking good. Man, they're having a great time. These guys. Oh, all my little students. They're like they're like kids to me even though some of them are older than me it's like I become very attached to them and uh, I don't know I take this so personally I we've made a lot of great friends over the years and we just run it like family over here we had such a great time at this fly-in our fly-ins aren't big but we have some of the quality people and uh, Maybe there was 50, 60 people here this year because of the weather was scaring some people away. We had a lot more, but it's great. It's great. We have a great time and we sat under the tent and singing and we were shooting clay pigeons and blowing up tannerite and doing all sorts of stuff we probably shouldn't be doing. But <laughs> we did have a great time. Oh man, this is so nice to see this. These guys are just having the most perfect night of flying here. It is just dead still and it's a little cold outside, but uh, we're having a great time at Carver's Field. I hope you can come down and join us. We're getting ready to make our transition down to Florida pretty soon. Uh, we go down the first week of October, so if you wanna get some flying in, we do have some classes available now and then uh, we'll be down all for seven months down in Florida um, Central Florida, real close to Daytona Beach, New Smyrna Beach. Come on down. We train year-round. And uh, if you haven't seen the newest equipment, which is the FlyPod, uh, the Gen 5 FlyPod Beast, check that out. Type that into YouTube and check it out. And, uh, oh, it's an incredible machine. It's brand new on the market, and it is just insane power. Even more power than the big monster we were using. Here he is coming in. Boy, everybody's just having a great time. Oh yeah. Is he landing? What's he doing? Oh, he's trying to do a touch and go, I think. Oh, is he, what's he doing? Oh, what a nice landing. I thought he was gonna do a touch and go, but no, he just took a landing. Oh, here comes Arlie Weaver. Cranking around there. Look at that climb rate on that monster unit. Wow. There's Dave. Dave Pachico. Hey, Pachico. Hey, I just thought I'd give you guys a glimpse of what's going on here at Carver's Field, give you a little update. We always have uh, some people that, when it's done, like to take advantage of having the field to themselves. They come in from, we got right here, all these guys, are, we got from Upper Michigan, we've got from New Hampshire, Texas, and they come in from all over, so they want to get some, uh, this is like Graceland for the people that were trained here. Uh, to come back to Carver's Field where they're trained. One of the best fields 
I think in the United States. I'm not just saying that it's because it's my field. It, it really is just set up perfect for powered paragliding. Beautiful field. We keep the grass cut like a putting green. Just gorgeous. He's going behind the barn. He's going out of sight. There's another one making a tight turn. And there's Arlie Weaver. He's getting on it. Oh, they're having a blast up there. Wish I was up there. 